Are we the last? <laughs> yeah. No, you're our first person that we had our oh, the first. So you're the first. Yeah. 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 Last, last person, last thing. Okay. Oh, last, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> of the best. Yeah. So can we start off with uh, what can you tease about the upcoming season? Um, Not really tease anymore, it's sort of just out. Uh, yeah. We have Ghost Rider. Yeah. 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 Coming guys, we're right. <laughs> <laughs> We are uh, Also, it's Ghost Rider flaming car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the decision to add the character to the cast is actually an after um, the move to 10 p.m. and either way, having the we're hoping that we can you know, skew a little darker because of it, but uh, you know there are a lot of all those decisions are sort of made at the same time. There are a lot of factors that went into it. Uh, one is that you know Doctor Strange is coming out. And if you're familiar with the comic, it's a sort of a different side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's going to be opened up, and uh, you know we felt like now is the time to do this because it was it plays in that world. It's, it's not exactly the spy world we live in, but we feel like with that entering the MCU, this is us sort of dipping our toe into that world as we open things up. And also it's Ghost Rider, so it's like there's no real decision. I said, Ghost Rider? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, you're giving that to me? It's okay, yeah. Thank you. Yes, we will take it. Thank you. <laughs> so would it be fair to say that Robbie's going to be in the world? Never. Well, you know, we, we put a lot of things down at the end of last year. We, we, we closed off some storylines, and, and obviously, some people died tragically or heroically. Um, so, we need to do new stuff. Um, but, you know, we, we've seen that Daisy has moved into sort of a vigilante mode of operation, and so, you know, I think she's going to stumble upon some, some new things in, in her adventures. Well, you know, the, the, one of the things that you see this in the movie is that or not, but, uh, you know, in Thor they famously say, you know, magic is just science we don't understand. And so, you know, as we've got, you know, the MCU started with Iron Man, who's a guy, a, a guy who built a suit, a smart guy who built a suit. And then, you know, when you put Thor into that world, it started to be like, how are these things going to work? And they, and they worked. And so they've started to open up into the world of sort of the fantastic. And, and we will be doing that this year in terms of sort of trying to blend the two and, and trying to see if, we're, if there are things we don't understand, why? And then meanwhile, we're building some things that we do understand, but maybe they we start to do that. The that. question you just asked, is that the Maybe asking as they encounter something like this. It's the question we were asking in the room of writers yes. on day one. Yes. <laughs> how do we fit this into our story? <laughs> You're speaking of the movies, how does the Sokovia Accords affect uh, your universe? Well, uh, you know, we have more power people on our show. You know, we started with none. Um, but I think that the dynamic in the world has changed. You know, there was, you know, one person with powers, and then by the Avengers, there were maybe six total in the world. I can't remember. Um, now they're much more prevalent, so there's a reaction, I think, from the public. And at the end of last season, with the six month jump that we showed you, it's very clear that many things have changed. And Chris Coulson stepping down as the director, from being the director, uh, is just an indication that within two um, things are very different. Whether or not she will be to carry out the career that's something that we see if you like. Speaking of different 
so wonderfully. Um, I was wondering if the students are still on the track, and are they still in the They have three kids. <laughs> They were very fast. They're actually they rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, they're, they're very much in a relationship. Uh, but with that, of course, comes some challenges. Working together, loving each other, and living together. We don't know anything about them. Yeah, okay. um, it's not cool to be like, you know, anyway. <laughs> it's getting easier to write the scenes because we just write what happened last <laughs> But usually that's like, you want to watch something? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see something about the life model? Um, well, yeah, I, I, I uh, no, but, but, you know, it's in there, and I think that we're going to slowly start to develop some very advanced technology this season, and, and, you know, maybe as that becomes more advanced and we have strange people with possessed people, maybe those things somehow merge down the line. big fans of his. Uh, we work with him on Spartacus and uh, uh, we love his dynamics. So we're going to see the side of him as trying to, you know, do better than he did last year. He feels, he's a, he's a good guy at heart and, and uh, you know, we think we, he means well so we, we want to see him sort of brought into the fold and, and we think he'll bring good humor. Alright, thank, thank you. you.